NMC has crossed all limits of tolerance when NBE had released in their website this notice on the 4th of May 2024. You know, the NEET PG examination, which is now scheduled to be on the 23rd June 2024, which was previously scheduled to be on 7 July 2024, and now they are citing that the reason is Rathyatra festival on the 7th of July 2024. Now we all know that in these kind of competitive negative mark based MCQ examinations, rectifying the theory, knowing the concept is not enough. Long months of practicing according to the you know given pattern is very very crucial for cracking this kind of examination and you know it's totally unfair because we have only a little more than one month left for the examination which is like a do or die situation for many of the students so according to the notice there will be five sections a b c d e each section is going to have 40 questions and 42 minutes and this 42 minute for each section is this time is fixed it also says that once you start a section, in, you need to complete all the questions in that section. And even if you complete it earlier, you have to wait for those 42 minutes to get over before you move on to the next section. Also, if you are, you know, marking a question for, uh, you know, mark for review later, that also you need to do within these uh, 42 minutes. Suppose you had marked a wrong answer earlier and now you want to correct it. You have to do it within that 42 minutes only you can correct the uh, answers of that section only suppose uh, the questions in a specific section was very easy for you and you wanted to complete uh, that section very fast so that you can give the time to the next section but this won't be possible anymore because uh, your hands are tied and once these uh, 42 minutes are over after that, if you realize that you have marked one of the questions wrong, uh, there is nothing you can do. You will just have the guilt that will eat you up and that is going to affect you while you are marking the rest of the questions. So it's totally unfair. So this uh, thing is wrong at so many levels. First though, you don't have the right to declare a massive change in the pattern of the question paper. You know, just about one month before the examination, this is a do or die examination for so many children. And once you've tied their hands, you know, you have restricted their field of motion, field of answering. There are so many candidates, you know, the answers do not strike to them immediately when they see the question. The answers come to them after thinking for a while. So it is going to be very unfair for these people. But tell me. Will talking about the drawbacks of the examination help anymore? Amra to power er position in So amra ita change korte parbona. We are on the recipient side. So we have to adjust ourselves to whatever changes they have made instead of cribbing over it because there is nothing else to do. No, a month and a half left before the examination, we cannot give up, right? Also, most of us are not in a situation to revolt, to take legal actions. It takes a lot of money, a lot of energy, time and all those things. So what we can do is we should be concentrating more on the things that are in our hands. So what are the things that are in our hand? Our own preparation. So what are the things that I need to change in my preparation? Number one, theory. You need not change anything about the theory. The syllabus is still the same, right? So what we can change is the way that we are attempting the GTs. We are attempting the questions. Remember to take a timer with you whenever you are attempting GTs. Put the timer to 42 minutes and attempt only 40 questions in that time period. So remember you have about 1 minute and 3 seconds for each question. Once you are done with those 42 minutes, try not to think about the questions that you have attempted. Now when you are starting a fresh set of 40 questions, start with a fresh mind. You know, don't think about the questions that you had attempted in the previous set. And one more thing is, uh, when we read the question, we make a decision whether we are going to mark this answer now or keep it for later answering. So this decision now, we have to make it very quickly. Uh, within seconds, I have to make a decision whether I will skip to the next question or not. And I'm sure the coaching institutes are uh, going to come up with GTs according to the changed pattern. So the greatest learnings from this change in the pattern of examination is number one, to be very mindful while answering the questions from now on. There is no second chance. You know, so when you are marking the question, the, your entire focus should be on that question. And number two, 
to develop the ability to move on from the question without any regrets. You may realize later on that you have marked that question wrong, but you should be able to move on from it. So these two learnings we should take within ourselves and try to improve our preparation from now on and mentally prepare ourselves while giving the GTs from now on. I'm sure you'll work hard and crack this examination even harder because I know you are going to take this as a challenge and I'm sure even with this change in exam pattern, the cutoffs are going to still be higher because you people are the one who are going to make the cutoff soar higher than ever. Bye-bye. See you in my next video.